Hello, good day, everybody. So, welcome back. Sorry for the delay. I still have the light off, so we need to go by secondary option. So, I think the night is in there. All right, so back to you, the, the review we're going on. So, already those, um, those data information has been released. And you can clearly see the action on the chart. So, we saw that the, um, the interest rate is the same and the rate decision is the same. So I'm checking from my FS book now, right now. I believe you can all hear me clearly. Yes, sir. So, so most times, all the time. So whenever you have the interest rates, they are the same is maintained. So it's, it's bullish. Is it that maintained or increased? So it's bullish. So when you review, it's serious at that point in time. So and we have our ECB monetary statement by 1.30, which is by the next um, 30 minutes, which the the policy, the policy meeting that is well, let me go back to the forest market so that we don't have different information. So the monetary policy statement that it's ongoing right now is not um, open to the public. So it said this is where they usually change the statement slightly at each release. It, it is these changes that it is these changes that traders focus on. So why do traders care? The primary tool is that the European Central Bank uses to communicate with investors about monetary policies. So is the primary tool the, the ECB used to communicate to investors. So this meeting that is ongoing, you may not really have access to it. You may not really have access to it. But during the monetary policy, that is when you can actually see some some information coming up. That is during the interview with the press. So at that point, that is when you start um, seeing information coming up. So, and that was what we saw on this refinancing here. You get to see that from the information here, the ECB press conference affects. It says tends to overshadow this red decision tends to be overshadowed by the ECB conference, which is coming up by, by 1.30. So now, and I told you that the Euro normally experience rejection. So there could be a, a, a tendency of going up and after crashing. And from what I've told you, you know the time where there could be that change. The best way to approach Euro pairs during an event is to actually look at the technical um, view of that pair first before the news comes up. Because at the end of the day, the pair tends to follow up um, on the technicals. It ends up following up on the technical perspective of that pair. So, but let me look, I've not really worked on for Euro yet. So, but I will just be following the DXY, which is like an alternative. So, which I was even actually expecting the rejection from here. So, which was what actually happened just right now. So, we're going to keep on. Um, so, what you're going to do is to just keep um, practicing. If you're training on live, sometimes you try to miss the theater. Because you are not a master of the game first. So that's why, first of all, you follow it technically. This is DXY, US index, is almost like an inverse of Euro USD. So I've not really done justice to Euro USD. So that's why I'm taking you to DXY. 
We can't hear you, so. I think you can't hear me at all, or there's a challenge hearing me. All right, can anyone hear me right now? Yes, it's better now. Let me try to be slow as much as I, as I can while communicating. The first rule is at, attending to the Euro event. First of all, approach the chat technically. You analyze the particular Euro pair. And I gave you a key point. I said the Euro normally has normally experience rejection. What do I mean by rejection? Rejection is the tendency of the pair probably flying up and afterwards breaking down. So now, what actually happens is that maybe I'm looking at the technicals and this area have not surfaced and I see a space up, I'm expecting a resistance. So I may slightly go and put a cell limit on them because I'm thinking that's where the euro will play out its rejection. So these are some of the points you can have jotted down. Then back to the calendar that we used. So we have the refinancing rate coming up. We have the monetary policy and we have the ECB. You can see they have some time gap. This is 12.45 p.m. and this is 1.30 p.m. It's almost a duration of um, almost an hour, an hour gap. That's almost, um, that should be a five minute gap between the two. So now, press conference doesn't have data. So that means the conference is going to start by 1.30 and it's going to continue. So since it's going to continue in that manner. It tells you that the effect on the chart is going to play out from 2 o'clock, 2.30, 3 o'clock, 3.30. And when you read the detail of the ECB, you understand that the outcome of the ECB overshadows the effect that this interest rate has on the chart. It does affect it. So still on the calendar. The interest rate is being overshadowed by the press conference because even if the interest rate is okay, just like now, you can hear me still indicate, please. So right now the interest rate is the same. So since the interest rate is the same, we are hawkish right now. Right now. So, but more of the effect of the euro FIDA move is going to be from the ECB press conference. So, now back to the chart. Um, let me take a particular euro pair, for instance. This is a euro yen. So this is euro yen, and um, we're still within um, this one hour. 
who is just the effect of um, this noise. And, um, and, if, and if you look at Euro yen from a bigger dimension, this, is, this whole zone it's a breakout from a weekly um, down channel. So this is a weekly down channel. So we are also uh, watching out for price. So we're also um, looking at price may right. So we're looking at price to experience some sort of rejection here or continue. So that place is actually a critical level. So that's why I said you have to analyze on a bigger time frame. You have to analyze the chart first. Then secondly, have the idea that euro normally experience rejection. The car doesn't do that, but the euro does that. Then watch out for the interest rate, which is already maintained. That is hawkish. So if you were able to do that quick scalp at that particular time, there are at least some few pips to take during that time. So what is going to foster our bigger move right now? It's so what is going to foster our bigger move right now is the forthcoming press conference that is coming up. So it's not something that you're going to rush. You're not going to actually be in a rush to take those trades. But also know that this is a, a very good opportunity today. So you don't actually miss it out. So from that 130, I'm going to also call us back. We follow up the chart from 130 to 145 in that 15 minutes time. And before the day runs out, we should be able to benefit from the move. So, very sorry for the noise coming up. I think it's more from generator cells. So, the way. Yeah. All right. So, more information I'll drop on the WhatsApp group. So, we're going to cut right now. More information I'll drop on the WhatsApp. Then I'll still get on the recording sent in.